Well, you said you, you filled in for some Mike Demoker Romance shows. Well, uh, you know, you talked about kind of the Beatle as- aspect of that thing, but I mean, the, the the just the production and the and the music and things like that. I mean, it's got to be pretty nuts to kind of just sit back and, and kind of you know, I guess be the one kind of triggering all that, man. Just being you know playing drums for that. Dude, it was wild. It was back in 2007, I think, and yeah. uh, their drummer at the time had bad uh, carpal tunnel in mm-hmm. his wrist, and. Uh, they were like, "Hey, can you do this tour?" And I was like, "Uh, yeah, absolutely." Um, <laughs> knew knew not a lot of information about it. Didn't know what they were running or what the you know. I just knew the tour was huge. And, yeah, um, I was like, "Yeah, sure, no problem." And you know, about two days before I was supposed to leave, uh, their drummer calls me. He's like, "Hey, don't worry about it. I got this. I'm I'm gonna do it. Like I I'm I'm, I'm better." And I was like, oh, "All right, bummer, but like I'm glad you're okay." Because like again, these are my friends. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't want him to be hurt right. i don't want him to not have his job you know what i mean but you know i want to play drums for them you mm-hmm. know <laughs> but you know that him him being okay and playing in his own band is more important <clears throat> so i'm like all right so i book myself a flight to go visit my at that time girlfriend in colorado so i land in colorado and i get all these messages all these missed calls and it's this dude jeff Pereira, who's who's um basically was like the stage manager of the band mm-hmm. he's like hey dude he's like where are you at he's like i need you to fly to australia he's like bob can't even pick up his bags like his <laughs> hands are his right. wrist is so fucked so i literally like turned around and went back to the colorado airport with a backpack to fly to australia love it so i didn't have any clothes i didn't have anything i didn't have my in-ears i didn't have anything so i had to have my mom send the ears i had to you know fly meet them my suitcase didn't get there in time, whatever that I had my mom pack basically. And, um, I, I go to the arena or whatever. And we have this little backstage room and they're like, all right, we're going to rehearse here. And like, so we just start going through the songs. Right. And, uh, everything was working cool. You know, we, we were, we were firing on, on the right cylinders. So we we're like, okay, sick. The next day was the show. So we, sh- I show up to sound check. There's a fucking computer back there. There's a fire. Right. And I had no idea that the show was like, you know, on a grid yeah. and I, I was triggering the song. So I had to learn what on set list I had to write like, oh, voice four count. Then I hit the hi-hats, you know, like one, two, three, four, you know, because everything was tempo mapped. So it was just kind of shocking to not even know that. And then to step up there and there's, you know, however many 20,000 people or 15,000 people in the audience that are going to watch the show and like expect to see the songs the way yeah. they are intended so yeah this is and that's like that's like height of the you know the black parade too like it's it's either it's either the height or it's it's becoming the height of the black parade in 2007 yeah yeah so it, it was wild it was a lot of fun and and it was a learning experience and i love that kind of stuff you know what i mean i love the challenge of like throwing myself into these type of situations because it keeps your brain sharp that's why i wanted to write music over the pandemic because i wanted to sharpen my brain i wanted to like be able to crack the code on songs which is my favorite thing is like figuring out that the theme of the song drum wise like the fill gotta repeat that fill this this is the song is built for for me on drums around this certain fill and Mm -hmm. i repeat that everything else goes around it you know i mean i like cracking the code so cracking the code of like learning other people's songs is just as fun to me 